Hey guys, welcome to my channel Kanak's Kitchen. Today I'm gonna show you how to prepare spring roll sheets or spring roll wrappers at home. These are homemade thin sheets of all-purpose flour which are very easy to prepare and works great as a base to make any kind of fried or baked snack. So let me show you the simple steps and what all things you need to keep in mind to prepare these. And this recipe is requested by a few viewers named Radhika Soman and Ruchi Chindal specially. So let me show you how to prepare these. First up in a bowl, sieve together the all-purpose flour, cornstarch and the salt nicely to ensure that it's free from any kind of lumps. Once sieved, now mix in the oil and rub the oil with the help of your hands into the flour. Next, adding warm water little at a time, start to knead the dough for a while until it all starts to come together to make a semi-soft and elastic dough out of it. So keep kneading the dough and adding the water as required. And now, when it's pulled together, apply a very little oil on top and again knead it. Now cover it with a damp cloth and keep it aside for around 30 to 40 minutes. After 30 minutes, I am going to divide the dough into small small equal sized roundels like this around the size of a lemon. And now take a ball of dough and roll it into a small 3 to 4 inches disc. Do this similarly with the another ball of dough as well. Now these two sheets are ready. Now brush both of them with some oil on top surface. Now brush both the rolled sheet with some oil on the top surface only. You can see this way, just a very thin layer out of it. And next sprinkle little flour over it. Now stick together both the rolled sheets with the oil side facing each other this way and pat it a bit with the help of your hands so that it sticks onto it. And here I am using this basic plastic sheet. Now with the help of some dry flour, roll it out as thin as you can to make a big sheet like chapati. This plastic sheet will help in stretching the all-purpose flour nicely as it's quite elastic. So keep rolling it evenly on all the sides and the edges. So you can see how it looks. Next, heat a non-stick pan or a tawa over medium high heat and place a rolled roti over it. And let it cook for just around 8 to 10 seconds on each side. It should not be cooked more than that and flip it over onto the other side and again cook for another 8 seconds. It's done enough. Remove it onto a platform and then gently cut the sides of it this way with the help of a pizza cutter to give it a square or rectangular shape out of it. And now here comes the interesting thing. I'm going to slowly pull it apart this way and you can see both the sheets will be separated nicely and very easily. Keep doing this for all of them. Now these thin spring roll sheets or wrappers are ready. Cover these with a damp cloth so that they don't dry out and then you can use for various appetizers. So my perfect spring rolls are ready and once you know how to prepare these, you can keep this handy and create a variety of appetizers like samosa, patti samosa, spring rolls or even paneer parcels out of it. So this was one way of preparing spring roll sheets which I personally like it and there is another way of making it that is in the form of thin pancakes just like the way we prepare crepes but I tried it and somehow I feel they don't come out even every time and they also absorb a lot of oil while frying. So Radhika and Ruchi, I hope you liked today's video and if yes, do leave me a comment. 
and share this lovely video with your friends and family by clicking on the share button. And if you wish to receive mobile notifications for all my new videos and updates, then you can click on the bell icon which is on the home page of my channel from your YouTube mobile app. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Till then, take good care of yourself. It's me, Kanak, signing off. Bye-bye.